Hey, what's up guys, my last night here back in the video. Today, I want to talk about my top 5 picks for the best cards for each tier in CSR Racing 2. So, this is probably going to be my first one right here, the Ford Fiesta ST. Now, I know there probably are better cards in the tier, but these are some of my personal favorites. So, you start off with the Toyota 86, which, I mean, it's not bad, but once you get it, close to max it's pretty trash like mine is pretty much maxed out for its class and it's pretty bad so that's my tier one pick reasons why for the fiesta honestly it's because of its it's the fact that it can hit top speeds like it's very good at high speeds it's also got the most power out of all the ones here i believe at 197 stock i think I think. I don't know for sure, but I think it's the one thing. It's time for the 86, actually. But the 86 is rear wheel drive. The Fiesta is all wheel, I believe. But uh, but the Fiesta is a very good car. It's uh, all wheel drive. It hits uh, high top speeds very, very good. Hits top speeds better than every other car in the in Tier 1. So that's my reason for liking it. Now, I actually didn't use it for Tier 1. Because I beat Tier 1 pretty fast. And I mean, I didn't max out my car for that one. Now, moving on to Tier 2. Tier 2, I also have to go for it. So, for Tier 2, I think I actually bought the package that it tells you, like, oh, here you go if you want a good car for the next tier. So, it's it got the Focus RS. Now, I haven't really used many other ones, but it's either the Focus RS or the RC Spider. F RC? 4C. 4C Spider. <laughs> the hell? So yeah, this is uh this is one of the ones you got from the packs. I didn't I didn't I haven't used any of my gold on cars hence. Now I haven't actually used this, but this is very grippy, very light, so it's really really fast acceleration. But the focus, as I said, very high top speed wise, which makes it pretty good. But I mean, they are one fourth mile drag races, so the focus the yeah focus can't really kick in, but still very good car. It's definitely tied with the four C Spider. Because this one's top speed, this one's that one's acceleration. So it depends on how you play, how you tune your cars and all that. So now we're gonna move on to tier three real quick as it loads up. So I think my favorite car for this one, to be honest, is the Hellcat. Because the Hell I like the Hellcat very much. The SRT Hellcat. Very good car. Once again, it's also coins. But lots of power, very good. The Stingray is also pretty good, so is the uh, the Mustang. Not saying they're the best, but they are pretty good as well. I uh, didn't use the Camaro. The long body is also pretty cool for that. I didn't use the California, actually. The California might be pretty good, but of course you have to win it. That's one of the drawbacks of it. You have to win the car, which kind of sucks. But for uh, Hellcat-wise, it's a very good acceleration car. It's got very good acceleration, especially for 1 4th miles. So it can stay ahead for the majority of the race because it's got decent at high speed. Not the best at high speed, but decent at high speed. So it can stay ahead of them at higher speeds. Just it, sometimes you'll have to engage your nitrous, I find, with acceleration cars. When the top speed car that you're probably racing starts catching up to you, you'll have to engage your nitrous then just to stay ahead of them. Which, I mean, isn't too bad of a strategy, but that's usually what I do when I'm going up against a top speed car in an acceleration car. So moving on to tier 4. Now this one's actually another pack car, but if you finish the tier and you move on, it's like discount 91%, which is pretty good. It's like 91% off. So this is it right here. The AMG GT, which I actually have enough to buy another one. I'm not buying another one. But this is a very good car. Main reason? Because you go up to half miles for the grand finals in tier 4. And this car is so good for that. Like, so Nissan GTR will definitely get you off the line, but you will catch up so fast. Like, this thing... Once it gets over 100, so fast. Like, one fourth mile, it hits 160 easy. Like, just under 160 easy when you've upgraded it a bit. I'll show you mine just so I can prove to you why I like this one. I'll just show you what mine's at for it hitting just under 160. And it's very good because all of those, uh, they're all half miles. All the champion ones are half miles. The regulation races are half miles. The only thing that's one fourth mile are the ladder races which aren't very good, but here's mine, 582, which isn't very high, I, it starts off 511, so it's about 70 in upgrades, which isn't too, too bad, 
It's, it's a very good car. It does the half a mile in 16 seconds at where I'm at, which is pretty good. And uh, for the last one, for Tier 5, now I obviously haven't made it to Tier 5 because I was just talking to you about how good it was in the Grand Finals. I haven't actually made it to Tier 5 yet, so I don't really know car-wise. But look, the car I see a lot of people using is the Ferrari F12, I believe. But I think the best one probably goes to the 1-1. One -one. I used the 1-1 one -one in the whatever thing, the daily challenge thing once. Very good car. Now, it probably goes to the P1 or that. Or the... Or the... Or the... Or the... Or the... Or the... Scrolling. I think it's the 599 GTO is the other one I was talking about. Wait. Let me just look at it. I don't remember my name most of the time. No. Wait. No, it can't be the 599 GTO then, because it's the... Uh, I'm assuming one. Uh, I forgot what they use then. Yeah, the F12. The F12 is also very good. I see a lot of people using that. I think it's just because it's easy to get. See? Yeah. It's because a lot of people just purchase it for a million or 3,000 coins. That's probably why. But the 1-1 one -one is very good. 1-1, one -one, 1,360 power, 1,400 grit, 320 hour ship time. I won't blab about the specs. But very good car. I have so many. I have like three stage 6 parts for this thing too. So I'll, hopefully I, I want to get that. But obviously, if you get any of these cars, you're pretty well set. Because majority of the cars in here are all from why well, I want to go in the, the Giron. But ba like, because all the cars from in here are all wins, that you have to get them from gold keys and stuff. By the way, this is a very beautiful car. I love this car. But you got to get them from wins, which kind of sucks. But I mean, what are you going to do? Now, I kind of wanted to talk a bit about RP quickly, uh, just before this video ends. Now, I actually have a boost of 109 because my crew activated the 70% one. But RP, honestly, there's no good way of getting it. Just mainly do ladder races and play through the campaign. That's probably the best way to get it. I can give you guys real quick. It's probably like it's probably the best way to get it. I don't really see many RP tutorials that are legit. I just see people fucking changing this shit on Android. And saying like, oh, here you go, 100,000 crew RP. Even though... uh. This uh, crew cup over here actually gave 150 legit RP. I don't fucking hack. I'm not a fucking queer in my basement. What a fucking life. What? <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so this one crew cup we actually just did give 150 to everyone. 150 crew XP to everyone. So we got up to 1.4 million pretty quick in our crew. And a lot of people don't play this game too, too much anymore. Like, they, they, they check in. They don't play competitively and shit like that. That's the old crew cup, I think. Actually, no, I think that's the one. That's the other one ended. Oh, wait, let me find out. Yeah, 175,000 crew RP. So basically, people just claim that shit, and we, like, our claim is at 1 point, uh, like, 1.4. Excuse me. 1.4 million <laughs> uh, crew RP, which is uh, quite a decent amount for only being, uh, what, like, there's still 12 days left, I think, or, like, 11 days left in this uh, season. Which if it loads anytime soon, I just I just pray it doesn't crash at the time. Oh look, I'm at the front. Yippee! I want the Continental GT because I want to help with my crew, but just no luck, man. No luck at all. Uh, let me just look at uh, crew. No, no, no. One thing. One thing. Stop. Stop. No. Bad. No. There you go. No. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at we're like we're decently into that. I think we're at, yeah right there. If you can see that in the corner there. But here we are. 1.6 million. I like 1,200 in the world. I think our clan is trying to push to get into 1,000 just so we can get a, a decent reward. Because, I mean, the reward, like, we're not getting anywhere up here. We're not top clan shit, man. Like, I'm, I would never get into a top clan shit. I haven't beaten the campaign yet. But I think we're gunning for that, and I, I'm helping a decent bit, I think. Uh, let me check who stats. I think I'm helping a decent bit, to be honest. I'm not the worst. Holy shit. Since when I got to talk to... And it crashed. Uh, <laughs> it'll take forever to boot up. Well, I guess I'm ending it there, then. I was top of the crew, somehow. I don't play much, to be honest. By the way, I love the crowd's background. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.